Welcome to the Hot Seat with Penzola. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, today I, my, I have Umbali as my guest. She's a career woman. She's also a mother to a teenage boy, which she explains as the best thing that's ever happened to her. But she's also passionate about education. Now we're not talking about any of those things today. Today we're talking to Umbali about raising a girl child, believing that you know getting married is an achievement. Um, that it is the ultimate, um, you know, it's the ultimate goal. It's 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 a sign of success, you know. And I think as the world has evolved, you know, I want to talk to her and unpack this subject because there's a lot of girls that we raise believing that they must get married, and we raise them in grooming them that they will be somebody's wife one day. Bali, thank you so much and welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Cool. So let's start uh, by talking about, you know, when you were raised as a child, what was what were your thoughts about marriage? And did you aspire to want to get married? Is, is it a thing that you saw as as, 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 a, as, a, as, a, as an achievement, you know? What, what were your thoughts? Well, to me, uh, growing up, it felt like marriage is just one of those things that just need to happen. Right. It's just designed for yeah. us to be there, right? Right. To raise kids and the children to be brought by a mother and a father in a stable family. Right. right. So there was that because mm. when I grew up, I had a, my mother, my father, my mm. aunts were married, mm. and everyone close to me that mm. was, there was a wife and a husband and a child. Mm. But <laughs> for me <laughs> personally, when I looked at that uh, institution, it was good because we had a close relationship with my cousins and my sisters, yeah. right? But when I looked at the at the impact of the mothers, there was, it was like there was that imbalance that I could sense, right? Okay. First of all, um, there was not. Remember when you grew up in a, in a in a black family? There's no there's no passion. You don't see that. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it was just my family. Yeah. But I couldn't see. I've never seen my mother kissing my father or my aunt kissing. So there was no. Yeah. yeah. There was that, that, that ke we call it chemistry. <laughs> I think there yeah. was no chemistry, and to me, it wasn't appetizing at all. I just, I, it was just not appealing. So it wasn't something that you saw as ideal. Like, hey, man, I want this thing one day. No. Wow, that's interesting. So I think for me, what I want to ask you as well is, why. Why, why was it important though uh, for you to, like you say, you know, you, you, you saw it as some, even though it was, it was something that was set, it needed to happen. By you not wanting it, obviously, you, you know, it was a sign of challenging the status quo, you know. But what do you think the, the impact is on girls that are raised believing that it must happen and it's, it's a sign of success, it's a thing, we're well, grooming you to get married. And, and they don't get married, you know, not by choice. They are ready, they've been groomed, they believe it, and they don't get married. What is the impact on those, what do you think the impact is on those girls? I think uh, such expectation is killing the girl's self-esteem, right? Yeah. And I can tell you my story. So in as much as I grew up not having this idea, yeah. I bought my first house on a year 10 to 23. Right. So when I told my mother, I, I, for some reason I told not just concert, right? Okay. So when I told my mother and her sister, yeah. Mongkul, yeah. which in English is an aunt, yeah. they were really not happy about it. So they told me that now that you have a house, then it means you're never going to get married. Yeah. Therefore, I can't even celebrate this achievement. That because it, the achievement is somehow not getting married. Exactly. Like how? Explain to me. And it's <laughs> like, once you, you, you are at, the, at a certain level, at a certain level, now you cannot get to a point where they think you should be. Every woman should get married and be the house with the husband. So every woman should get married in order to get a house. So if you get a house by, by yourself, it's not a, a, ready, it's yeah. not a home. Yeah, oh, it's, it's just a house. Oh, it's not okay. a home. So there's a difference. Yes. Okay, that's, that, that, that's, that, 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 that's interesting. And, and, and let, let's, let's go back to the fact. What do you think the impact is? on those girls that don't get married. You know, they want to, they were raised that way. And, and for whatever reason, it doesn't happen. Yeah. What do you think the impact is on them? You know, does it affect them, their self-esteem in any way? Yeah. Or, you know, what does it do to them? It, it does, and I think if, if that happens, 
regardless of what they can achieve, they will always think of themselves as failures because that main thing they are supposed to be working towards is not happening. Sure. They can be a CEO, they can run a company, they can own but property. Alive. But the fact that there is no alive. husband, then you, you're not... You, my mother would even say, a woman is bound, they are bound to have a husband, right? <laughs> if you're not, I mean, it, it, it's, it's against God's will if you are, if you're not part of that. Yeah. If you're not part it's of that system. It's dismantling the system. Yeah. So it's not just, just supposed to be that way. It's abnormal. It's abnormal. abnormal. It's abnormal. Wow. So I felt that. <laughs> when when she said that with with because they're always together with two man cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she said that, I said, but what are we gonna get with me getting married? Yeah. Uh, just tell me that. Maybe I can. I can maybe we can still achieve okay, things. Yeah, maybe I can just. Yeah. yeah. And I said, I understand with the, our culture there is remember so who so who from our country and all that. Maybe maybe yeah. maybe just maybe just give me a blanket. I'll buy you. I'll buy you those blankets. Because really I was tired of being yeah. the same thing. Yeah. No, and let's let's just settle this. Give me a, a, a list and buy the plan. Yeah. Like, so so did you ever get that? Did you ever get <laughs> that? <laughs> so even now when she asks, and I should, at some point she'll say, But you're older now and maybe we are abandoning Zoom. Well, I'm not sure we call a little bit but anyway. I, 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 I was about to ask you to ask you to a point that you touched on now, Guti. Uh, do they have this opinion which are now fully and you are deliberately not getting married because we uh, frustrate this team when I say we are rebellious? No, they've made a peace with it. And I think we might ask for that list. Yeah. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Because each time they will go back and say, whoever is getting married, I said, oh, but you, I will know you, uh, otherwise you're going to ask us for that list. So, so the list never yeah. came, yeah. but they just made peace with it. <laughs> Wow, interesting. I like the list. I'm definitely gonna advise someone. I mean, I am married, but I am definitely gonna advise someone to say, "Mama, can I have fucking pressure?" You know, just say, "Nearly listy." So that's the main person. Get your benefits. So the baller. That's it. Get your benefits. So my last question to you, when Bali, is, where are you now with marriage? Where are you now with aspirations of getting married? I mean, having gone through that. A, 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 a type of you know pressure of oh, oh shut oh shut you know where are you now is this is it something that you, you 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 still would like to do even though I mean both you and I have determined now that you don't see you don't obviously see it as an achievement but what where what where are you now what, what what do you think of it do you aspire to get married uh, is it a thing that you know and sometimes people will say they don't you know I've met a few people that would say they don't want something because they feel like. So you know, my position must just be that I don't want it. You just have to make peace with Yeah, you understand. Okay. So where are you? So, um, growing up, there were, there, there were instances where I felt that perhaps I should have considered, right? There were moments where you are in hospital, you've, you've gone there for this minor procedure, and then uh, you have to go to, to a theater. Yeah. And yeah, then there are yeah. other patients that are lying with you right uh, there. Yeah. They've got their spouses holding their hands, yes. waiting for yes. them to kiss them on their forehead when they wake up. Yes. And I felt that, right? Yeah. I felt that perhaps yeah, that thing was missing. Perhaps yeah. if I could, maybe to have had hair, maybe I could enjoy these benefits. Yeah. 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 But it, it's short lived, right? Mm -hmm. Because it really was never in me. It's, it's just those tiny moments where you felt like, they, maybe you're missing out. Maybe something. I'm missing out on something. Yeah. But the status of the state of mind where I am, I think I'm very much content with the decision that I made. Mm -hmm. uh, if those moments come, it's it's not something that you can be, be depressed about. Yeah, it's not something that paralyzes. It, it doesn't you paralyze are. me. Yeah. You know. So yeah. it's just that that mm, maybe today when I come back from work, I need a foot massage, and, and it's not there. And I can make peace with benefit. It's a benefit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a benefit. You can outsource that yeah, benefit. I can outsource that benefit. <laughs> Such that I would even uh, when when we just uh, came with my with my with my with my friends and said, yeah. I, I need I need my statement today. Yeah. You know, I yeah. just need to you know that yes. to be there but not fully you, you, or not, not to enjoy all the time. benefit, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. It sounds interesting. Wow. I think you know what 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 we're trying to, 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 to achieve uh, or, or rather in this conversation is to really reflect in terms of 
you know, why marriage exists. Uh, it exists because two people want to spend time, to, you know, want to spend a life together. But it's also not, it shouldn't be part of a formula. It should not be part of a formula where, where you are raising a girl child, you are making them believe that, you know, you have to grow up, go to university, work, and then get married, and then have kids. You know, it should be a case where if you're old enough to look after a child and you want a child, that, that should never be linked to, a, you know, getting married. And I think, you know, the, the reason I wanted to talk to you about this, Mali, was to really unpack that as well, to say, you know, the, it's, the, it's, it's a norm, you know, I grew up with it as well, where, you know, my, my mother would, would, would shout at me when I did something wrong and she'd say, you know, you know what I mean? Like what is it? Yes. As if that's that's the only thing that matters. Yes. It's, it's the only thing. And I remember when I got married, you know, that she was she was the happiest person at that event. Mm -hmm. You know, she cried and she said to me, These are tears of joy. Yes. You know, she's like same half father man, just saying right, you know. Yeah. And, and and for me it felt like she's achieved her thing. She's achieved yes. what she's she 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 she's she's always wanted to do and you know her daughter's getting married and I thought okay so I've experienced that as well you know and I think I'm lucky because I've got married to somebody I love and I want to spend the rest of my life with but I can also imagine do you ever think that you know there are, there are marriages that have been arranged just to have that achievement I mean I know that arranged marriages was a thing you know um, and, 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 and it probably comes from that you know what are your thoughts around that it probably comes from the whole thing which it met, yeah, it has to happen. Yeah, so so those pleasures. I mean, I think it goes for for both males and females, right? Mm. You 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 sit with guys, and you can see that this person is really not happy, right? Mm. But they're saying it was non non negotiable mm. in my family not mm. to have a wife, so I just had to at some point because I wasn't going to be listened to. I wasn't going to be part of the decision making. If there's not any ritual, it. you're not yeah, distracted. You're not if there's any ritual, you, you, you go sit there with the boys, eat with the boys, regardless of your age, right? Because, yeah. I'll, I'll because we, we're not known that, yeah, yeah, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. you, you, yeah. you cannot tell us anything. Wow. So with women as well, mm -hmm. same thing happened. You just feel like, you know what? We uh, the, That's why they would say the clock is ticking. Wow. This thing must happen now, <laughs> yeah. right? And then a person will be all over trying to get this this candidate so that they can marry them. And any candidate, you want a tick list. Exactly. Exactly. So it just puts unnecessary pressure, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's just puts No, friend, thank you so much for joining me, Mali. I think it was a very interesting uh, conversation and insightful about the decisions that women can make for themselves. And let's evolve and let, let us not feel the pressure of getting married. I mean, some people can choose partnerships, staying together with someone. You know, it ultimately it's not about the legal documents. Mm. It's about the companionship. Thank you so much for tuning in in our conversation with Umbali and thanks for watching at, at Hot Seat with Penzola. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Um, and um, yeah, and, and, and send us a mail if you'd like to be on the hot seats as well, like Mali was today at hotseatswithpenzola at gmail.com. And thank you for much. Uh, it's been real. <laughs>